everyone, it's Reverend Deanna Cox here. I am a United Church minister with this online community of DKR United, as well as the physical communities of Daysline, Killam, and Roseland. And this is our midweek uh, reflection for the third week of Advent, coming into Joy Sunday. And um, I... We, I, some of you may know that I uh, stepped back from leading service on sun, last Sunday because um, I wasn't feeling top notch. And so, um, thank you for those that have reached out. I am feeling better. Um, I have some, still have back pain and uh, some congestion. So, I'm sticking close to home and minding my manners. And um, it might mean some changes for things in the next week, but they're well underhand and taken care of. It also has meant that um, I was kind of forced to make room for myself. Um, seeing as we're talking about this Advent, about as a t Advent as a time of slowing down and making room for what's truly important, and making room for the holy, it was very important to realize that that means making room for yourself. And so when I am, you know, waking up tired and exhausted, it was a sign, and my back is hurting, it was my body's way of saying, you need to make room for yourself. And so it was good. I rested and really made use of the time. I rediscovered things like this, you know, paper books instead of screen time. Um, so that's, that's lovely. Um, one of the other things that I was able to make room for having a little more time at home was uh, for sewing. I love creativity. Um, I made Christmas stockings for our family uh, quite some time ago. And um, I just really enjoy sewing. And so our, our kids had asked for some items that I was going to create for them, and so I did. I had time to sit down and sew, and even though it was just a straight edge, kind of boring piece, um, it's amazing how much that recharged my system. And another thing that I keep wanting to share with you is a love of baking. And although I haven't been, been baking, Steve has made these awesome like honey cookies they're really good uh really good for the spirit not so great for the body <laughs> so i'm trying to be mindful of that um yeah so um it just has been kind of an a nice restorative time and also important reminder about in the hustle and bustle of the season and it's hard to believe that even with COVID restrictions, there is hustle and bustle. Or even that we get wrapped up in a routine, whatever that routine might be. Morning, Joanne. Um, it, when we get wrapped up in that routine, we forget to make time for the secret. Or, ev or even the spontaneous, if that makes sense. And so it was, it was a good reminder to slow down and um, not take life so seriously and just rest. And so I invite you to think about how you are going to house the holy this week and how are you are going to restore your own body, mind, and spirit and maybe set aside some time from the hustle and bustle of the season. Because when we are rested, we are more at peace. We are mo more open to love 
and we are more ready to notice the joy in the world around us. And those are the things that we are called to um, notice and to be open to this Advent. And so I challenge you to do that, to take some time this week to rest and, and, and prepare your hearts for the Advent season as we come even closer. Um, being away on Sunday, there was no recording of the worship service. And so uh, if you're looking for that, there won't be one, sadly. Um, if you're really missing it, you can let the office know and we can send you a paper copy. And so contact dkrunited dot, uh, at gmail.com and uh, Sandra will get a, a print copy or email version out to you. Um, I have spent some time editing uh, the for the pageant, so I am super stoked to be able to share the pageant from last year, finally, with you. Um, and so I'm not sure how that will get online, but I'm sure it will. And so I look forward to sharing that with you as well. And um, yeah, we have our Lament and Light service coming up this week. And so I hope that that will also get online for you because, you know, we all have, um, seer, we all have experiences that are kind of incongruent maybe that's the word I'm looking for incongruent with the season and it's nice to have a place to express them or know that they're at least welcome there um yeah so that is Thursday at 7 p.m. at the physical location of Killam Knox United Church if you are able to join physically otherwise there uh, we will get ours and or links to several others in the surrounding community and through the United Church that are available that you can tune in at different times. So folks, I think that's it for me today. Um, yeah, I just wanted to let you know the, about the joy of making room for yourself in this season. And I hope that you are able to do that in a restorative and rejuvenating way this week. Take care. God bless.